U.S. defense officials say this is the real deal. Russia test firing its new high-speed hypersonic missile, a missile that the U.S. military currently cannot defend against. Russian President Vladimir Putin pulling no punches on his intent. The new avant-garde missile system is invincible against today's and future air and missile defense systems of the potential enemy. This is a big success and a great achievement. If the weapons work as advertised, there is no current defense against them. The Russian missile has captured the attention of Patrick Shanahan, the deputy defense secretary who will take over as acting Pentagon chief when Secretary James Mattis leaves next week. Shanahan warns the U.S. needs to be able to detect the fast-flying missile much further away than current radar systems can handle. The U.S. has to detect it thousands, not hundreds of miles away because of its high-speed approach. The Pentagon may spend more than $1 billion trying to develop and field its own capabilities. We have a number of options going on with hypersonic missiles. The Russians are making significant yet unproven claims about their missiles, saying it's capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. It flies up to 20 times faster than the speed of sound. It can adjust altitude and direction to avoid detection. Putin says it's invincible. The second destruction on Earth, which is by thermal nuclear fire. Okay? That's what it's talking about, man. All right? That pit, that snare, and the windows thrown higher are open, meaning the upper atmosphere being opened up because of these nuclear missiles falling from the sky. All right? Because the nuclear missiles are going to come out of those silos, they're going to go into the upper atmosphere. You know, and into the upper heavens, and then they're going to come back down. Okay? So the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. Like an earthquake, right? All right? Like an earthquake. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. Clean dissolved or melted. You know? So what's going to melt the earth? Or, or melt different parts of the earth. What's going to melt the infrastructure on the earth? Because the earth is not going to be completely destroyed, but what's going to do that? All right? The nuclear missiles. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. All right? So that's it, man. Missiles. Missiles are going to do it. All right? Because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor, because he hath violently taken away an house which he builded not. Truly, he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not savor that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore, shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn, and cometh out of the body, yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall, terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places, a fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked man from God, and the heritage appointed unto him by God.
Yeah, let's take a look at it, Ryan. It's called the Avant-Garde mi Missile System, and it's called a system because what we're really talking about here is a hypersonic glider that you put on top of an ICBM to launch it into space and then get it closer to your target. It flies about 20 times the speed of sound. Some estimates have it up at Mach 27, incredibly fast, can carry a nuclear warhead. And the real scary thing about this is that as it closes in on its target, it can independently zig and zag to avoid missile defenses. Uh, the Pentagon, for their part, they are still working on hypersonic systems of our own, but it doesn't look like we're going to have a hypersonic system in development, or at least in the field, for at least two to four years from now. So the Russians are ahead of us on this. The other problem with this missile system is that our radar systems, according to the Acting Secretary of Defense, Patrick Shanahan, are not strong enough, not capable enough, of detecting it far enough away because of the speed. So this is a real worry, uh, and it's got the Pentagon planners, I sh I'm sure, working very, very hard.